TikTok in talks with Kenyan government to stop LGBTQ-specific content official says, draft framework, will be ready by end of this month. Published four days ago on September 27, 2023 by Sam Kisika. TikTok is the latest global digital video platform to enter talks with the Kenyan government to stop access to LGBTQ-specific videos and other content prohibited under the country's laws. TikTok, a popular short-form mobile video streaming platform, is currently in joint talks with government officials to develop a framework for censoring such content classified under the restricted category. A draft framework of the content regulation is being worked on by a joint team and it will be ready by the end of this month. The larger regulatory framework will address specific content like LGBTQ, explicit and terrorism materials shared on TikTok, an official who is familiar with the discussions told the Washington Blade. The joint team is compelled to develop the framework to regulate TikTok users who enjoy full control of videos they share on the platform without the service provider's prior approval, unlike Netflix and other movie streaming platforms that readily classify content for users. Consensual same-sex sexual relations are criminalized under Section 165 of Kenya's Penal Code. The move to regulate TikTok content arises from a petitioner who wrote to the National Assembly last month demanding the country ban the social media platform for promoting what he deemed harmful and inappropriate content. The petitioner, Bob Endolo, an executive officer for Bridget Connect Consultancy, cited violence, explicit sexual videos, hate speech, vulgar language and offensive behavior as content with a serious threat to cultural and religious values of Kenya shared on TikTok. The petition ignited an uproar among Kenyans, particularly TikTok users who make a living from their videos through monetization. They asked the government not to ban the platform, but instead enact a regulatory framework to stop inappropriate content. This request prompted President William Ruto and several senior government officials to convene a virtual meeting with TikTok CEO Sho Zichu on August 24 over content regulation under Kenya's guidelines and monetization. Chu during the meeting committed to moderate content to fit community standards by removing inappropriate or offensive content from TikTok and pledged to set up an office in Nairobi to serve the African continent. The virtual meeting was followed by another physical one at State House between Ruto and TikTok Africa director Fortune Sabanda on September 2, where it was announced that the social platform is set to launch a national training program to empower its users on creating and promoting so-called positive content. TikTok has already stopped monetization for users sharing inappropriate or restricted content and deactivated their accounts as efforts to draft the regulatory work continue. A joint artificial intelligence tool is being used in the meantime to detect offensive content for removal and the accounts brought down, stated the official. It has significantly reduced inappropriate content for the last few weeks since Kenya and TikTok started engaging. The latest Reuters Institute Digital News report released in June revealed that Kenya leads the world in TikTok usage with an astounding 54% share of global consumption. Thailand and South Africa follow with 51% and 50% respectively. The Kenya Film Classification Board, the country's film regulator, signed an agreement with Netflix in February this year to stop the streaming of LGBTQ-specific movies. The regulatory body is part of the ongoing talks with TikTok. The KFCB is also yet to finalize its talks with Showmax and two local video-on-demand platforms to stop the streaming of LGBTQ-specific movies. The regulatory body derives its powers from the Films and Stage Act that regulates the exhibition, distribution, possession or broadcasting of content to the public. The ever-changing digital technologies that include TikTok and other social media platforms have prompted the KFCB to reconsider its regulatory framework by coming up with new measures. One such proposal, dubbed the Kenya Film Bill, would empower the KFCB to classify and regulate content in this digital era to stop ones that go against government-mandated standards. The information, 
Communication and Technology Ministry last week appointed a special team to look into existing laws and recommend policy and regulatory framework for the digital platforms. The ministry's senior officials, including Assistant Minister John Tanui, are also taking part in the talks with TikTok. The ministry's newly unveiled panel will also ask whether the Kenya Film Bill can be enacted independently or combined with new legislative proposals. The regulation of TikTok content in Kenya comes amid the anticipated introduction of the Family Protection Bill in the National Assembly that would criminalize any form of promotion of LGBTQ activities with harsh punishment of at least 10 years in jail or not less than a $67,000 fine or both. TikTok in April 2022 suspended the Human Rights Campaign, the largest LGBTQ rights group in the U.S., for a couple of days after it included the word, gay, in a reel against Florida's, don't say gay, law. The company determined the post violated, community guidelines. A British lawmaker criticized TikTok in September 2019 over reports that it censored LGBTQ-specific content, such as two men kissing or holding hands, and artificially prevented LGBTQ users' posts from going viral in some countries. Theo Bertram, TikTok's Director of Public Policy in Europe, the Middle East and Africa, apologized to the British Parliamentary Committee and confirmed the company only removes such LGBTQ-specific content if law enforcement agencies in countries of operation request it.